So everyone's been talking about the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo, and I think it's about time that we discuss this laptop. It's a very interesting laptop. Think of the MacBook Pro's touch bar on steroids, and I think that this is the beginning of a different class or the next generation of laptops. Here's the thing. I love innovation, and the fact that this laptop has 4K touch screens is amazing. I mean, the other touch screen is a MacBook Pro touch bar. Think of the MacBook Pro touch bar, but the elongated version of it. So it's pretty big at the bottom next to the keyboard, and that's a 4K touch screen as well. But it has a matte finish, so it's not glossy. So kudos to ASUS for thinking about that. They thought they don't want the, the glossy reflections when you want to click on something, so it has a matte finish. The screen itself is an OLED screen beautiful screen. It's a powerful laptop that is geared towards content creators. It's got one terabyte SSD, it's got NVIDIA RTX 2060 graphics, it's got up to Core i9 processors, so this thing is pretty powerful. But there are some things that I don't like about this laptop. So what are the cons? Number one, the keyboard placement. I don't like the way the keyboard is placed. and. The problem is there's no getting around that. Now, because the screen at the bottom, I like to call it the touch bar on steroids at the bottom, because it occupies almost half of the laptop chassis at the bottom, the, the keyboard had to be pushed down all the way to the edge. And the mouse trackpad is on the side, is on the corner, the lower, the bottom right corner of the laptop. It's a tiny piece for the I call tiny in comparison with the MacBook Pro's expansive trackpad. I love that. So that is a con for me. The trackpad is small. The keyboard is squeezed all the way down there. It's not going to be comfortable. It's not going to be ergonomic when you type on it. Yes, there is an additional piece for the armrest. So Asus thought about that problem and they added that additional piece at the bottom. But that's an additional piece. It's not part of the laptop. You still have to take it with you wherever you go and attach it to the laptop. So that is a con for me. The laptop placement is not comfortable. The keyboard placement on this laptop is not comfortable. I've tried the other Asus gaming laptops where the keyboards are at the bottom and they were not comfortable for me as well. Now the other con I think is the fact that the laptop is kind of chunky. It, it It's heavy and chunky and Although it's got all the legacy ports, which is great, it's, I mean, not everything, but it's got many ports, way better than the MacBook Pro's options, but still it feels chunky and heavy. And that, for some people, may not be um, uh, something that they're going to like, so that's another con. For the pricing, there are two variants of the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. There's the one that starts with the $2499, and the other one is the $2 triple nine and the difference is the first one has 16 GB RAM the other one 32 first one has i7 the other one i9 so you get the picture but both of them have a one terabyte SSD hard drive and that is amazing that's a fast SSD so that's it these are my thoughts on the ZenBook Pro oh by the way am I gonna com consider this as a replacement for my MacBook Pro I really thought about that, and the answer is no. And I'll tell you why. Keyboard placement, tiny trackpad, I call tiny trackpad, even though I love the 4K OLED screen. But, well, there's also another factor, but that may not exactly be a reason for some people, but it is for me. I love mac os so the software itself is very important now that is completely personal it's a personal preference it is not exactly a con some people prefer using windows over mac os some people love using mac os for me i love to use mac os because it's easier and for me more reliable than windows 